Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and you've seen these things. They're ships in bottles. People take time and effort and energy to construct these immaculate ships inside of these bottles. You've seen those, obviously. Well, this is 3D printing, and in 3D printing, we have our own ship, the 3D Benchy, and we can 3D print it. So let's print a 3D Benchy in a bottle. In order to do this, we're going to need Benchy, we're going to need a 3D printable bottle, and then we're going to set up our Benchy and our bottle in a slicer. Let me show you where I found that bottle. To make our Benchy in a bottle, first we need to find a Benchy, which we have. Now we need to find a bottle, and this bottle by Creative Tools seems to be the perfect choice, strangely enough. Let's start and simplify 3D. So I'm going to import our 3D printable bottle. I'm going to import the 3D Benchy, and here they are. First things first though, we notice that the Benchy is gonna be too big to fit inside the bottle. So let's let's adjust that Benchy. Let's make that Benchy 75% normal scale. Now what we can do, which is kind of cool with Simplify 3D, is you uh, select both objects, I think. Yep, and you hold down Shift and you click Center and Arrange, and it just centers everything right there. <laughs> it's, don't worry, it's in there. And let's let's do that. So we'll use the Y axes and we will turn this around. There we go. Let's zoom in. So here's the Benchy. The Benchy is sitting on the ground floor and we know that that is not appropriate or else bad things will happen. So let's move that Benchy up. So what we can do is select that Benchy and then we can move it up a little bit. Oh, let's see. That looks to be about perfect. My guess is the Creative Tools bottle's bottom is one millimeter tall. However, I don't want the extrusion to happen right on the layer in a way that it'll stick too hard. So why don't we bump that up 0 0.05 and there we go. It gives us this tiny, tiny little gap and that way, when it extrudes the filament, the filament won't stick as hard to the bottle, so hopefully the Benchy will release. All right, that's it. Now we've created our model. So in Simplify 3D, we can go Tools, Dual Extrusion Wizard, we'll say the Ultimaker 3. We're going to uncheck Group and Align Models because we've already done that. The bottle will be off the right extruder, the Benchy off the left. Easy enough. Let's go print, select all, and hit OK. Oh, I forgot to clear that out. OK. Well, there's our prime tower. Holy cats, that is a giant prime tower. But if we scroll back just a little bit, we can see the Benchy. And we know that tool one is in green, tool zero is in blue. And there's our Benchy in blue, and there's our bottle in green. Let's, let's go right here. So we can see... There's a layer right there, and then it starts building up. So we know that the bottom of the Benchy is on the bottom of the bottle. And then it'll just print. We, in fact, we. There we go. And that is how you set it up in Simplify 3D. So then you would just hit Save Toolpath to Disk, put the SD card in the machine, or in the case of the Ultimaker 3, the USB, uh, the USB stick, and then hit Print. But Joel, you say, I use Cura. I don't use Simplify 3D. How can I do it in Cura? You're in luck. In Cura, let's open up the, uh, let's see, 3D printable bottle. And we're gonna open up the 3D Benchy. And they are gonna come in one right on top of the other. And the reason that happens, in fact, let's delete them. I'm gonna show you something. So under, uh, let's see, where is it? Where is it, where is it? I'm gonna find it. Preferences, configure. Ensure models are kept apart and automatically drop models to the build plate. Those are normally checked. And if those are checked, the models won't be able to interact. And even if you increase the Z so that they are off the build plate, Cura will continue to bring them down to the build plate. And that's not what we want. So make sure those are both unchecked. And then what you want to do is go select your models again. 3D printable bottle, 3D Benchy, and hit open. They're going to appear one right on top of the other. So you need to first select the Benchy, select the scale, and go 75. That'll make it a little bit smaller. 
And since everything is on the build plate at this point, according to the X-ray, let's see. Oh wait, I'm sorry, you know what? I forgot, when you change the scale, the Benchy doesn't automatically go down to the bottom of the build plate. So what we can do is hit that and go reset model positions. And that brings it all the way down. So now when we go into X-ray, there we go. We can see the bottom of the boat, get up there. The bottom of the boat is on the build plate as well as the bottom of the bottle. What are we to do? Well, first select Benchy. And what I would do, okay, we already know in Simplify 3D, we know that the bottom of the bottle is one millimeter in height. So we know we put the Benchy at uh, 1.05. But let's just say we don't have the comfort of using Simplify 3D first and finding out using its methods. So select the Benchy, go to move and increase the Z by whatever a first guess would be. So I put two millimeters. Now in x-ray mode, we can tell the bottom of the bottle is here and the bench is above it. And we did it two millimeters, which is from the ground to here. And we notice that the distance here is fairly equitable to the distance here. Well, that's pretty interesting. Let's select the benchy. Let's go to one. That looks nearly perfect. I like that a lot looks like it's resting right on the bottom of that bottle. But like I said, we need to adjust it. So let's do a 0.05 addition just to give it that space. Now, when we go to layers, what we want to do is look for when the bottom of the bottle is being printed. And we wanna make sure that the Benchy itself is printed after that. Okay. So it looks like we're on layer six. So let's go seven, let's go eight, let's go nine. Okay, there we go. We went to layer nine. It doesn't look like the bottom of the bottle was added to and it looks like it started adding the sides. So now we can go to layer 10 and there's the bottom of our Benchy. That's perfect. Well, now we need to select this for dual extrusion. So let's go over here and we're gonna select print core one for the Benchy. I'm gonna select the bottle and that's gonna be print core two, just like that. And then you can print it over the network because this is Cura 231 and it interfaces with your Ultimaker three or you can save it out to an SD card or, or whatever, but that's it. We've now set up our Benchy to print in the bottle. Right, the Benchy built inside the bottle. Uh, it looks like this, but you know, this wasn't, <laughs> I did go through some iterations because if you do print the Benchy a little bit too low and it's on the build plate with the bottle, you do get a massive hole in the bottle. But there is a Benchy in this bottle and you can, you can see it, it's there. It's in the bottle, it's in the bottle. Well, with Benchy in the bottle, but the bottle not having a bottom because the Benchy took the bottom of the bottle, blah, 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 we had to do it again. What I did is I printed a little test and I just went this far. And look at this, this is the bottom of the Benchy and here's the bottom of the bottle and it popped right off. So I knew I had my settings down. So that's when I got this. You can tell that the bottom is intact and there is a Benchy in the bottle. Look at that, oh, let's see. You can probably, you can probably see it like this. That's not too bad. So this bottle's cool, it worked. Uh, Creative, Creative Tools makes a good bottle. This Benchy prints just fine. You know, uh, this is cool and all, but this bottle is printed in Polymaker's PolySmooth filament. Why don't we smooth this? Once the smoothing was done, uh, it, it looked it looked like this. 
uh, you, <laughs> some of the bottle is not transparent. So the way that the smoothing works is the isopropyl alcohol vapor or cloud, it can smooth and on this transparent filament, it smooths it so that you can see through it. The reason you can't see through this though is because you're looking at the back side of the filament, meaning the wall inside the bottle. So what I did, funny enough, is I took some isopropyl alcohol and I stirred it around in the bottle. Oops, and you can actually, you can see it. You can see it right there. You can see how it got kind of transparent. The problem is adding isopropyl alcohol to polysmooth makes it incredibly sticky and tacky. So I had to find out a way to kind of prop this up so the benchy inside wouldn't stick to the walls. And I, I did okay. You can, you can see it kind of right there. You can kind of see the benchy in there. And it moves around. Yeah, so there we go. You know, this was, this was kind of fun, right? I, I tested things. I made sure my measurements were correct and my settings were correct. I then did test prints just to make sure everything was working. And then I tried a cool procedure to smooth it out and see what would happen. Obviously, through all of these four steps that I have in front of you, I could have most likely done them easier and better. And now that I know more, I know ways of smoothing the bottle and I know ways of printing it better. And of course, I'll never end up with a benchy hole in the bottom of my bottle again. Well, there we go. I hope you learned something. I hope that little tutorial on how to set up the model in a slicer is cool. I hope you print yourself a benchy in a bottle or another model in a bottle. I'll put the link to the Creative Tools bottle in the description and just go find your favorite model and print it in the bottle. I set it up for dual extrusion because I was printing this on the Ultimaker 3, but if you have a single extrusion printer, there's no reason why you can't do the same thing. You just wanna make sure that you have that, that slight air gap in between the bottom of the bottle and the model that you want to put in the bottle because that way it won't stick as hard, it'll free, and then you can shake it around. I don't know, maybe this would be a fun little gift for someone or maybe it'll be a fun gift for yourself. With that, let's call it good. Again, thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when cool stuff gets uploaded. Uh, last but not least, don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you guys. As always, high five.